Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Ella Sige and today I'm going to make a Captain Marvel soap carving because I really love reading and watching the Avengers. I hope you enjoy and now here are the materials. Sharp objects like this or a chisel, a knife or cutter, and last but not the least, an exacto cutter. So next we're going to need something to catch the loose soap. A small plate, of, or the purpose of that one is pot holder, but you can use anything to hold the dirt or excess soap. Next, you're gonna need something to measure the thing that you are going to carve in the soap. So, you're gonna need a ruler. So, the first ruler is a steel ruler or an opaque ruler. Next is a Faber Castell transparent tool, ball pen, and pencil. You need a reference to copy the thing that you're gonna carve. For example, like this cell phone, or you could just print a picture. And lastly, you're gonna need a soap. So let's get started. So I used the exact soap cutter to open up the soap packaging. It is best to put the picture guide in front of you. Create a plus sign first using a long sharp object or by first using a ruler, but I prefer to do it directly using my long sharp object. To make the line more visible, I used my exacto cutter with a ruler to deepen the cuts. Next, create an intersecting or diagonal plus sign on top of the first plus sign. Now make the eight pointed star using the two plus signs or the grid lines that you have made. To make your star more distinguishable, slice deeper on all the sides and outlines of your star. After, carve sideways to create dimension on the star. Make the grid lines more visible so that the next step will be much easier to do. Next, start on the corners of the stars to make them more detailed and realistic. I made the four bars on the sides following the principles on how I made the stars. So I'm gonna smoothen these parts first. There. We're gonna cut a small layer to even the surface. So now it's done, but you can actually paint this, so it's optional. And I use, and what I recommend is acrylic, so I use the Reeves acrylic, but I don't have red acrylic, so I use textile paint. Then I have my water brush, a small brush, I think this is 0.1, and a brush from a watercolor set. So I use a small brush for the red because of these um, very thin lines between the two yellow parallel rods. You can also paint the sides if you want. 